This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 20, The Game Design Process, Part 15. So we have our game here that we've been building throughout this lesson, right? So if you don't have what I have, you need to go back to the other parts of the lesson. Um, if you're stuck on them, watch my other videos. Players moving around. Great. Turn in. Let's see what we're doing. Displace enemies. It's time to write the code for some more sprite interactions. Your player sprite should displace the enemies. Do this. For this level, you'll be writing code inside the displace enemies function. Write code that makes the player displace both enemies. Test your program to make sure the player is displacing the enemies, but they keep moving right after the player moves away. You can use the sprite.debug to see sprites colliders if you need to debug your program. All right, so let's look for the functions we need. Displace enemies is what we want. So what are we going to do? Well, we need, uh, let's look at their hints. Did they? Oh, they didn't. Okay, so displace enemies. And is it run? I want to know where is it called? It's called in the draw loop, right? So none of our functions run unless we call them. Wherever its name is, displace enemies. Got it. So now, displace enemies. We need control if, and then we want to check the sprite. Let's see. If. We want is touching, right? Code. Got it. Okay. If is touching set collider Oh, what do we Which did this do? We probably want to use one of these. Let's check. There are four types of collisions in variable. Bounce. Oh, duh. Displaces right there. Wah. We want this. Sprite dot. Okay. So sprite player displace target is going to be enemy one. And I think these check if I remember. Don't these have an if statement as part of them? Okay, let's check this out. I want to see if just place enemy one. Is that enemy one? I guess not. Ah, yep. So that's all we need. That's cool. Ah, okay, that must be enemy one. All right, so now we need the other displace. Oh, reset. We need another displace here. Enemy two. Okay, and so we're saying, hey, Sprite, displace this enemy. When is this code run? When do we call this function? We call it in our draw loop. So what happens, this runs 30 times a second. The computer runs through all this code, hits move player, then it hits displace enemies. It says, where's that? Ooh. Ooh, here it is, and it runs the code inside of this, okay? And then when it hits the bottom, it just goes back to the draw loop and runs all the code below it. And remember how fast this is, 30 times a second. It's why once I'm touching the enemy, it's going through so fast, it knows that I'm still touching it and we are affecting it. So let's double check that it's working for both. Brah! Oh, oh, if touching water, we haven't added that yet. All right. So that's what I added in the displace enemies function. Great, let's move on.